it's Emmy. And it's Betty. And we have another exciting edition of Planet Rayburn. Rayburn's Got Talent is coming soon. If you would like to participate in this year's talent show, please pick up a form in the cafeteria or in room 1219. Auditions are Thursday, March 24th after school, so pick up a form soon. The best talent at Rayburn will win an exciting prize package. Let's show everyone how much talent Rayburn has. I love how clean our school is. Let's keep it that way with simply throwing away our trash together. We can make Sam Rayburn a better place. There's this guy and he keeps looking at me. Hey, come over here. Is this yours? Yes. I never want to see you do this again. All right? <laughs> or I'll find you and I'll get you. School physicals for the 2016-2017 school year will be held Wednesday, March 30th from 10.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the new gym. The fee is $20. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. V or Mrs. Rivera in athletic training room. Don't you hate that one kid that asks for your charger all the time? Well, Matthew Busby has gone on a quest to find the charger that would last a lifetime. Oh. No! What's wrong with you? <sighs> My phone's at 3%. Oh, I have a charger right here. There you go. Give me that. What are you doing? It's the wrong one. It's the wrong one! What is your problem? That was my charger? That doesn't matter. There's only one charger that's good enough for me to use. It is said that a king wanted the best charger ever made, and so a blacksmith stood up to the call. It is said that that smith worked 25 long, laborious years for that charger, and I want it. All right, first, that's not true. People a long time ago didn't even have phones. Yeah, that you know of. Second, how are you even going to find it if it exists? That is easy. I have a map. Onward to adventure. This is ridiculous. Tonight, we ride. Who is that? That's the riddle. He only speaks in riddles. He'll ask us one and we have to solve it. When brightest, it's darkest. When darkest, it's gone. When it's gone, so are you. Wait a minute. I've got it. The answer is shadow. That is correct. You may pass. All right, well then, we'll just be, be on our way, pass through, you know. Wait a minute. You guys are supposed to come in from that way. Why are you coming this way? But it says right here in the map that, that we're going the right way. Ah, uh, here's your problem. You're looking at the map upside down. It's located over there. Thanks, Matthew, for wasting my time. Oh, no, Julia, I'm sorry. Every time, Matthew. What the heck? All the time. Ah. Uh, ow. Why? Aha! I should have known that it would be here the whole time. Mostly due to the flashback I had where it was right here. That, that probably should have let me know it was here, but I found it! Woo! Quest! Hey! What in God's green earth are you doing, man? No, no! You know you can't charge that in here. No! With today's technology, you can create the special effects you see on TV and games with just the click of a mouse. 
My name is Daniel and I'm outside of room 1424 to ask Mr. Henson some more questions on digital graphics. In digital graphics and animation, we learned Photoshop the first semester and we learned how to make uh, cartoons using Adobe Flash the second semester. I also teach you the elements and principles of design so you learn how to make your designs. My favorite part of this class is expressing my creativity and I will show off my own work. The, my favorite part about this class is, that the, is the fact that there's no limitations to what I can create with the programs given to me. I decided to take this class because I needed to take it for my technology credit. I decided to take this class uh, so that I could become more tech savvy. I would definitely recommend this class to my friends. I would definitely recommend this class to my friends because it allows you to create whatever you want using the programs given. Animation is the art by which two-dimensional drawings or inanimate objects are turned into moving visual representations of three-dimensional life. In Photoshop we create images and in Adobe Flash we create frame-by-frame -frame animations. Digital graphics consist of two different semesters, one of which we use Photoshop and the other Adobe Flash. For more information, come down to room 1424. My name is Daniel from Planet Rayburn, now back to the studio. An old program is beginning again for those of you who have missed out. Mythology, fairy tales, and folklore will be Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 235 to 335 in room 2204. These are not the stories that you are used to. We will dive into the darker, more accurate tales and urban legends. It will be fun, exciting, entertaining, and surprisingly educational. If you're interested in signing up to the program, stop by Mrs. Hartwick's room 2204 to fill out an application. Hope to see you there. It's peanut butter time. That's right. The DECA annual peanut butter drive is going on now through April 5th. Each 16-ounce jar of peanut butter is worth five community service hours. Yes, five community service hours. Peanut butter will not be accepted for makeup hours. If you are a senior, this is your last opportunity to earn community service hours and possibly your cord for graduation. DECA is teaming up with Stuco to make this event happen so you can turn in your jars of peanut butter to Miss Brown Johnson in 1145 across from the AP's office or in Miss Smith Walker's room. 2219 in the English hallway. Additionally, we are collecting toilet paper for the local women's shelter. Each four pack of toilet paper is worth worth one hour of community service. Let's show our support for both of these worthy causes. What if the violence and the wrongdoing increases in the school? There's always one person to stop all that from happening. His name is the hall monitor. So that is the difference between an ape and a monkey. Henson. Yes, Carlos. Mind if I go to the restroom? Yeah. No, just take the pass. All right. Thanks. Anyways, back to apes versus monkeys. So gross. I did that to the restroom. What are you gonna do about it? Uh, nothing. I can't let this continue. These people need to follow the rules. Or else the system will fall apart. Carlos, where are you going, man? Aren't you supposed to be in my class? Sorry, Hanson. I, I gotta go somewhere. But, but Carlos! Carlos! If the APs won't do anything, then I will. I will become the hall monitor. All right, guys, I guess that's it for today. Remember, I'm Emmy. And I'm Betty. And always, always stay, stay true to, to the, the blue. blue. Yeah.